Hello, I'm Kat and today I'm going to be doing a makeup look using the Odin's Eye Hummingbird Palette which is a collab with the Fancy Face. So I try to wear something quite colourful, not that you can really see but and I don't think this is really going to be the colours that I'm doing today but I tried. <laughs> so yeah, this is the palette that we're going to be using, I'm finally getting round to it. So here's what the outside looks like. Take the sleeve off. Ooh. And then we've got the inside. So I'll put up some close-ups and swatches on the screen for you now. Okay, so I've just brought up the Odin's Eye website to um, look at the colours. And so we've got 12 colours, 4 different textures, 5 mattes, 4 shimmers, two metallics and one multi-chrome. So the two metallics must actually be because a couple of the shades when I've done them they felt a bit more I don't know maybe creamier if that's the right kind of word which I think it was this purple one and the orange so what are they swallowtail that's the shimmer and Purple Hummingbird, that's this shimmer. Oh no, oh no, was it this one? Beach Sands, that's a shimmer. Or maybe it's just the shimmers I feel a bit more, I don't know, creamy. I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, so we've got the multi chrome, which is Fancy, which is this one down here, which looks so pretty. I definitely need to use that in a look. And you probably can't see this past the one too clearly here but yeah so really lovely um yeah so this one's based on the hummingbird which i think is sonatina jamaican yes jamaican so the hummingbird is jamaica's national bird so lovely so this is obviously a really colorful palette i actually had a um google of the hummingbirds because when I showed my mum this palette and then she was like oh you should go for like a green orange and purple um so I was like oh you know what I'll have a look at the hummingbirds as well like maybe I can use a um picture as like inspiration um and I did see a picture the other day when I looked but I don't know I can't seem to find it now so I don't know, if I can find it, I'll put a picture of the kind of bird, hummingbird that I saw. They've got so many different, like, variations. It's not breeds, is it? Breeds of bird, like a cat. Um, but yeah, they've got so many different kinds. Yeah, so today I think I'm going to try and go with what my mum suggested and we'll see how that works out. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to go, but we'll try it. So we're gonna. I think we're gonna go from the orange into the green into the purple. And we'll see how that goes. So we'll start from the center and work our way out. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to use this palette again though, and use this multi-chrome. Maybe I can do that with um, like a um, blue kind of purple look. There's a lot of hummingbirds like that. Um, yeah. So we'll see. Anyway, let's zoom in and we'll get started. So I'm going to start with the orange, which is called Swallowtail. It's this one here. Um, I'm not sure how these are going to go on as they're all shimmers with some of these brushes. I might need to find some better different brushes. We'll see. So I'm going to put this on the inner corner here and I think I'm going to go up, take it under the up. Yeah, I don't think this brush is very good. I don't think this is going to be the easiest to do. I'll see some of my brushes are, are dirty from the other day so I haven't got limited choices. Okay, I think we'll leave it like that for now. We'll come back in later. 
Right, so let's go in with the green, which is this one, feathers. I think this one might work better with um, one of these other brushes because it looks like it's a finer, like, is it, was it a metallic it said? I'll try this big brush. <laughs> yeah, see that's coating the brush a lot better. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the green here. I'm not sure how all of these are going to blend together. I might not blend them too much. That is a lovely colour though. Okay, so I'm thinking I might actually put on, I just realised that I've only been doing one eye, um, <laughs> I might actually put on a bit of the blue to blend into the purple, I should just put the purple on and then we'll see. I'm just going to catch the other eye up as well. Okay, so I just decided to use my finger to um, Put some of that orange on and I mean it's really really intense now but <laughs> it's just gone everywhere so I'm definitely gonna have to wipe some of that away. Um, I don't know how else can I get it like that but like under the eye because obviously I can't brush my finger all the way under the eye. Maybe I'll just um, do it with my finger and then we'll come back and clean it up. Okay so it looks absolutely crazy but we're gonna co we're gonna go back and clean this up later. Let's go and do the purple then. So I think we'll try this brush. So this one is Hummingbird. This one here. Yeah, so I'm going to put the purple on and we'll see how that looks. And then I might possibly add in a bit of the blue or the turquoise colour in between. So yeah, this is another one of the metallic shades. Which I think it's going to go back better on with my finger. Or is this one of them shades that I need to, um, or textures, that I need to, like, spray the brush? Which, I mean, that's not something I do. But maybe that's going to be the best way to do it. If I'm not able to just apply a bit with my finger. Yeah, because if I put that on my finger, it just comes out so much better. Now, obviously I can't ask you guys opinion, but do I need to add in a bit of the blue or not? Okay, so I think I am actually going to put some of this blue shade in because I'm not sure if these are going to blend too well. So I'm going to do this blue shade down here, so blue fields, and hopefully this will come out alright. <laughs> Maybe should I kind of blend in almost like a diagonal? Look. I think I've seen Angelica do some looks like that before. Is that looking better? <laughs> I hope so. I mean, it's always good to try something new, even if it doesn't turn out right. This may not be the best eye look I've put up on my channel, but we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, so I think the blue blends in with the green better. And then... So we'll put some of that purple shade on. I'm 
not sure if I'm going to blend out the edges too much. Okay, so this is what we're looking at. So I'm just going to try and um, blend this out a little bit more. So I'm just trying to blend the green and the blue a bit. Blend the edge a little bit. And then I need to fix up this orange shortly. Okay, so as soon as I can kind of wipe this orange away, I think I'm going to use my, um, or actually, should I try my fixing spray? How did I do it? Did I put it on the brush first and then spray the brush? Or spray the brush after. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of like kind of a like a double wing effect, I think. So we're going to leave like a gap in between the two shades. I think. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of leave it there at the moment. So I'm gonna clean this up um, under my eyes and then we'll come back. Okay, so I've got a bit of a glittery face now, but hopefully that will cover, be covered when um, I apply my foundation and that. So I'm gonna apply some false lashes now. Here's what we're looking at right now. Um, yeah, I haven't really done a look. I guess using this many colours, so it's kind of, I don't know, a little bit weird for me, but I think it looks okay. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go and do my base makeup now, and then we'll come back and we'll see the finished look. Okay, so here we've got the finished look then. Got cat hair. I think it came out alright. Was it? It's not something that I'm used to doing, like this many different colours. So it's kind of like a um, rainbow look. Almost. It hasn't got all the colours, but yeah, I think it came out alright. And I paired it with. So I use this blusher again, the Etude House apricot blusher. Um, Oh, I didn't actually put contour on because I forgot to get the brush out so I just didn't bother and then on my lips I chose so I initially put on this Estee Lauder one which is vanilla truffle but then it was too um, pale I guess uh, and this is a what was it body shop I don't know but this is like a nudie one I think I need to get like a um, like a peachy nude because a lot of my nudes are I guess either super light nude or they're like pink nudes so I think I need like a peachy kind of one because that's probably what I'd go for with something like this I think as I went for like a kind of peachy blush so then the palette so again the shadows so I used all shimmers today but they came out lovely other than the I guess the couple that I had trouble with, but that's not because the shadows aren't any good. They just need to be applied a certain way, which I'm not used to. Um, yes, what were they? They were the two metallics, were they? Or the shimmers? Oh. Yeah, so they were both shimmers. This one is actually a shimmer as well, but it's not quite the same texture as these ones. I managed to do the blue one with a um, brush that came out all right. Um, but yeah, all beautiful colours. And very colourful. Do I look like a hummingbird? <laughs> I tried. Um, yeah, so the metallics, metallics, the shimmers and metallics. That one's a metallic and that one's a metallic. Those are the two metallics. Um, yeah, so they all came out really lovely. I mean, the mattes swatched lovely. 
on my arm so I'm sure they come out just as well. Again the Odin's Eye um, eyeshadow quality is fantastic. <laughs> yeah I think that's about it for this video then. Such pretty packaging. Oh, it's just so lovely. Everything that's on my face will be listed in the description. Let me know what you think of the look. Did do you think it came out alright? I'll say different to what I usually do but yeah. <laughs> um, if you did enjoy the video then give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I shall see you next time. Bye!